Hi, I'm Tina Mickelson. A lot of my students are intimidated by fairway bunkers. Here's Ann Van Dam to show you how to increase your confidence out of that hazard. I think, you know, we always have to look at the lie and kind of rate your skill level. If you have a bad lie or you, or you have a lip and you just don't feel comfortable, hit it back out to the fairway and give yourself a shot from the fairway. You know, you can easily hit in the lip, be in more trouble, try to hit it, blade it over the green. You know, it's a tough shot. So um, that's one tip I would uh, give the people. Another one is play it safe, play towards the middle of the green. It's already hard from the fairway to hit it close to the pin. So, you know, give yourself some extra room. I would always club up maybe half a club to a club so I can swing it kind of three quarter so that I don't have to force it out. Um, and it gives you a little bit more room. And the last tip I would give to people is go out and practice it. You know, if there's a ferry bunker um, at the driving range, go and hit a couple of shots. Um, mm -hmm. For me, I think it's a great drill. I do it a lot. I practice a lot out of the ferry bunkers. It improves your contact, improves your confidence. It only is going to make it easier uh, to play from the fairway. So yeah, don't be, don't be afraid and go out and hit a couple of shots. And um, yeah, hopefully you'll find it's not an intimidating. So one question though, am amateurs have this quite a bit. A fairway bunker this far, are we taking any sand or are we picking it clean? I would say you want to pick it as clean as possible. Mm -hmm. The only thing I changed a little bit, like I said, I probably club up one club, mm -hmm. put it slightly more back in my stands and, you know, sometimes even grip it a little bit shorter. Mm -hmm. In that way, you know, you're going to hit it slightly thinner and that's what you want. You don't want to go down and try to dig in the sand. So I would say especially the clubbing one up is going to make the amateur swing it a lot easier. Great, because that, that is a misconception that in every bunker you take sand and sure. not in the fairway bunker. No, because so. the more sand you, you take in between the club and the ball, the shorter it's going to go. Right. So you want to try and pick it as clean as possible. Well, let's see what you got. Okay, let's do it. So yeah, like I said, we have about 135 here. We're a little bit into the wind, so that makes it play close to 140. Um, you know, for me, a full nine is going to be close to like 148. So I'm, I'm taking that um, in account. And like I said, you know, the pin is a little bit tucked to the left. I'm going to aim it just slightly right. And same for me, just put it in the middle of the green and give yourself a chance. Perfect. So same thing, you know, just try to make practice swing, kind of feel, feel your stability. Mm -hmm. You know, the only thing I would say is, you know, dig your, dig your feet in a little bit. Mm -hmm. You have more stability. I mean, I picked that clean, might be even a little long. Let's see. Great, I mean, it's probably, you know, about 30 feet right of the hole. I picked it clean, I didn't have to force that shot. And like, like you see, it's not, it's not a steep, big divot. So remember, assess your lie and pick your shot. If you're going for the green, club up and take a three-quarter swing, then pick it clean, and hopefully, you're on the putting surface.